Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to review the use of market replay on NinjaTrader. On this platform we have a connection that allows to rewind and replay the market at the speed we want so we can test several times the setup that we are uh, trying to use the market replay we need to follow these steps first we need to be disconnected from the current field then we connect to market replay we get this small window where we can advance at the speed that we want make a pause or go to the or preferred date and time but to be able to replay an instrument and a date we need previously to have downloaded the corresponding data we can right click on this window select on available data and we get this window where we can see for each instrument currently we are looking at crude oil and these are the days that we have available to replay and I have only downloaded the level 1, not the level 2. So let, let's say that we want to replay last Friday on June 10. As we saw, I don't have that date downloaded. So the data doesn't move because we don't have the date for that instrument downloaded so first we need to download to, down, to download a new uh, day we need to be disconnected from market replay then we go to file utilities download replay data select the instrument the date and the type of data usually we only need level 1 on control center at the lower right corner we can see the, the status of the download if we need to download more data we we need to wait for the first to finish this is a process that must be made for each instrument and each date the downloaded data is located at the folder documents Ninja Trader 7 DP and data. Each one of these folders is a date, and inside we have a file for each instrument. For example, for June 7, we have data for crude oil futures and the euro for expert we can uh, archive or move these folders for a later use when the download completes then we can connect We are on June 10 and we can go to the end of the day 
to check if we have data and we can see that we have all the day loaded let's say that we want to replay from 7 a.m. we can make a right click go to and select with precision the date and time that we want to start replaying we can play at standard time or increase the speed we can go to 500 times the normal speed the only difference in using level 1 only or also level 2 is if you use a DOM If we don't have a level 2, we don't we cannot see the pending orders in the market on the sell side or on the buy side. But all all the other items like uh, price volume we are available. Order pending. We can place orders and everything works. If we enable chart trader, we can also see that order order filled order filled something to take into account is if you are testing a strategy to enable the strategy we need to remove chart trader let's say that we are testing a strategy with different settings before moving the time slider you must take into account that the strategy must be enabled let's say we are testing the sample moving average crossover that is included with Ninja the strategy is now loaded but not enabled we can enable the strategy from this tab on the control center or from the input parameters if we move the time slider while the strategy is enabled everything works fine we can enable on the chart the plot execution so we can see the entries and exits with this option at the bottom now we can see all the trades if we change a setting on the strategy we disable the strategy, change one of the parameters and if we forget to enable it again when we move the slider, this is a common issue then we get the strategy lost so everything that we were working on uh, is gone so don't forget each time that you move the time slider let the strategy enable we enable the strategy move the time slider and everything works fine if you want to repeat the same procedure as before like changing a setting we disable the strategy, change the settings and enable the strategy again from the, two, from the input parameters or from control center on the control center it is enabled so now we can rewind or advance and the, stat the strategy remains 
So on a few words to use market replay, the first that we need to do is download the needed dates. We need to be disconnected. We use the, the menu file utilities download replay data select the instrument the date wait for the download to finish and select the following day or instrument once everything is downloaded we can connect to market replay to verify that we have everything loaded fine we right click and for this time interval we see which are the available data instruments and, and dates if we select a different uh, dates then we have all the instruments and dates available for that uh, date range So now we are in conditions to replay any of these days. And if we enable Chart Rider, we can also place manual orders. Order pending. And replay so many times as Order we wish filled. at any speed. Target filled. Hope this has been useful for you. And if you have any question, please post below this video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.